This is the ministry of God's love, compassion and mercy, taking the gospel to huge multitudes with signs, wonders and miracles. Though based in Dubai with 16 services for a week, as founder and senior pastor of King's Revival Church International, Pastor Dil Kumar continues to bring the message of God's love around the world, receiving salvation, miracles, healings, as God comes and wipes the tears of the broken heart and fills them with life and life in abundance in Jesus' name. Miracle moments, healing and blessing festivals in many nations draw crowds to a million to receive the love of God and be healed by His power. Miracle School for Healing and Wholeness teaches and imparts and raises God's servant as fathers to minister in the fruit and gifts of the Holy Spirit. Our Miracle Moment TV programs are seen worldwide taking the gospel with signs, wonders and miracles instantly following God's word. We also run children's home for orphans, homeless kids and take care of widows destitute in different countries. Beside these, we pioneer and oversee and support many missionary churches and nations. The books authored by Pastor Dill such as Jesus Christ Heals You Right Now, True Anointing and Gifts of the Holy Spirit, Miracle Life in Abundance, Miracle Life Now and Forever, Your Miracle in the Kingdom of God are available on request. Our magazine names, signs, wonders and miracles are widely circulated with credible documented healing and miracle testimonies, praise reports. Our website www.yourmiraclelife.com I email God's love at yourmiraclelife.com Please be in touch with us for any prayer requests. He will certainly bless you and grant you the needed miracle in your life in abundance. God really loves you. He loves you. William, William, you will rise with healing. You will rise with new strength, William. He is here today. He is here today. Jesus is here today. Through the Holy Spirit, through the Holy Spirit, through the Holy Spirit, William, you will rise. William, you are healed. God is here today. Our confirmation of the word of knowledge. He, the person who had a wound on the foot, he is the guy who went, went through an operation. The Lord has healed him. And his name was called. His what name is, is William, Pastor. William. You can move your feet up and down without those lovely chairs, chapel, chapel, son, and move it right now. You and I, all the pain is gone on the heels. All the pain is gone. Your name is William. God, call. how many of you remember that? How many of you remember that? Bless you, my son. Live, William, in Jesus' name. Someone, you had a pain under your armpit, somewhere on the side of your ribs, under your armpit, just move your hands up and down. All those pains on the sides and the ribs would have gone away right now. All those pains on the sides and the ribs would have gone away. Just move your hand up and down. You will know it right now. Don't hesitate. Don't feel shy. Pastor, for the last two months, he's been experiencing pain on the upper part of his rib, just a place that you yes. mentioned. Instantly, the Lord healed him. And there's no more My pain. God, shall we remove this for a change? Right. Since I last saw you, you have grown. <laughs> uh, oh, where did you have that pain, son? Just here. And the moment when, when I told in the power of the Holy Spirit, it just went off. Lift your hand up and down. Move it up and down. Move. Hallelujah. Oh, bless you. Love you, son. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Every defeated sickness in your eyes, all will be washed away. Pastor, for the last three weeks, he's had a pain and tearing of the eye after the operation. Instantly, this evening, the Lord has healed him completely of those. All that's fine, son. Completely fine. You had it in the church when you came. It's all gone now. Who healed this dear son in the eyes? Who healed this dear son in the eyes? Everyone say Jesus. Everyone say Jesus. Bless you, son. Live my child in Jesus' name. Your blessings and them what by one count your blessings, see what God has done. He loves you. Count your blessings, name them one by one. He loves you. 
will, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Sing it, daughter, sing it, sing it, child. My beloved, he, she said, she was a poor girl, broken-hearted girl. All she could give was a thankful heart. She came early morning before the sunrise and the stone was removed. My darling, today, my beloved ones, count your blessings and be thankful to him who rose from the dead. Your stone will be removed before you get there. As a prophet of the Most High God, I declare this from the word of God. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you, my child. He loves you. Do what this unworthy fellow says because it comes from the Holy Spirit and see what God has done for you. And you will say what God has done for you. And you will show what God has done for you. You will see, you will say, you will show what God has done for you. Just obey my loving charge. She was there. The stone was ruled away, moved away. <sighs> No one knew what had happened. The angel said, he's risen. He told you he will rise. Why didn't you believe? Luke 24, verse number 7. He said he will rise. He will go before you into Galilee. Oh, poor Mary Magdalene didn't know anything of that. She was perplexed, troubled. And there suddenly, Jesus stood by her side and asked, Woman, why do you weep? Why do you weep? That is the first word that came out of his mouth. Woman, why do you weep? Whom are you seeking? Are you seeking for money? Are you seeking for friends? Are you seeking for help from the world? Are you seeking for your own righteousness? Whom are you seeking? God, I am nothing. I am nothing. I seek for nothing. I seek no one. I am seeking you, God. If you seek him, you will live. Amos 5, verse number 4 says, My home, Mary, why are you weeping? Magdalene, why are you weeping? He didn't call her name first. First he said, woman, highly respected one. Woman means highly respected one. Why are you weeping? She didn't know it was Jesus. Because she came with a thankful heart, the stone was rolled away. Because she came with a thankful heart, Jesus came there. And you know what, he, what was happening? He was on his way from the earth to heaven. He was on his way to the Father. And when he passed a certain place, he would have summoned his entire blood to reach heaven. He took all his blood into the holy tabernacle of God. Entered as the high priest, ever interceding, only high priest for you and me. Anyways, Jesus is here through the Holy Spirit. Stood there, woman, why are you weeping? Even today, he is asking you and me. My son, why are you weeping? My daughter, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Are you seeking your own strength? Are you seeking your own ability? Are you seeking your own self? Are you seeking your own understanding? Are you seeking people and friends and money? Whom are you seeking? Jesus is asking you and me. You tell him, Lord... It's you that I am seeking. It's you that I am seeking. I have sought everything. I have sought everyone. Now I have come to a place. Only you I will seek in my life. How many of you will do this? Lift your hands to Jesus. Let heavens rejoice. Let the world know that there is a kingdom of God swelling up in this blessed land. Hallelujah. 
Jesus is here today. He loves you. 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 My child, he loves you. Mary said, Mary didn't know it was Jesus. Mary Magdalene. She said, where is the body of my master and Lord? She thought he was a gardener. Jesus called her Mary. If you are a person of thankfulness in your heart, gratitude, of God, he will call you by name. He is risen from the dead. He will call you by name. He is risen from the dead. He is here today through the power of the Holy Spirit. Oh, my beloved, that is an intimate relationship. When you are called by name, that is an assurance of a never-ending, forever-lasting, righteous relationship. He called her Mary. She knew it was Jesus. She wanted to go and touch his feet. She wanted to fall at his feet. He said, no, don't touch me, Mary. I'm going to my father and your father. My God and your God. Go and tell He's on his way to heaven. And there he stopped by the side of this grateful woman. Thankful hearted woman. Broken hearted woman. God was go going on his way to the father. What a great whole of heaven was waiting to give him a rousing welcome. Who is this king of glory? All the gates of heaven would have been open. Who is he? He's the king of righteousness, king of glory. Defeating Satan and sin and curse and hell and death and sickness and disease. Having given redemption and salvation and healing to mankind and life. He is entering into the Father's kingdom, Father's house with such perfection and obedience as a man. What a rousing welcome. I can't express by words. Oh, would, would have awaited him. But still he stopped by the side of a broken hearted girl. Broken hearted, crushed girl. All she wanted to do was to show her thankful heart. Here he is going to receive the crown as king of kings and lord of lords. But stopped by the side of a broken, shabbily dressed girl. Shabbily dressed, worn out dress. But her heart was full of gratitude. You forgave my sin. You gave me life to live. You gave me joy to live. You gave me hope to live. You gave me peace to live. You wrote my name in heaven, in the Lamb's book of life. A broken hearted girl. Shabbily dressed, worn out dress probably. Jesus stood by her. Just to tell her, you know what, servants of God, pastors, leaders, great men of God. This is the place redemption was complete. John 20 verse 17 is the place redemption is complete. What is redemption? He has purchased us all back to the Father. We now belong to the Father through the Son Jesus Christ. He says, my God and your God, my Father and your Father, which means you now belong to my body. You now belong to my bone and flesh. You now belong to my blood. I am the elder brother. All of you are my little brothers and little sisters. We are a family now. Redemption is complete in John 20 verse 17. Signs, wonders and miracles. 12th edition ministry magazine documented reports of amazing outstanding miracles and real life healing testimonies and great revival all across the globe such as a man instantly raised to life from 25 days coma a crippled young girl with crutches instantly healed and many more healing testimonies email us on God's love at your miracle life .com. again email us on God's love at your miracle life dot com and get this book free. Send us your prayer requests. Send it to us on our new website, yourmiraclelife.com and our new email, godslove at yourmiraclelife.com. Also, your testimonies of praise reports of miracles that God has done for you. Even now, send it to us. We will praise God with you at our new email, godslove 
at yourmiraclelife.com and remember our new website yourmiraclelife.com God loves you Jesus loves you I was rejoicing Holy Spirit came by my side this afternoon and whispered and said my son do you know what is this in this verse I said I don't know God much I know very little absolutely nothing he said tell the congregation and the world this is the place where redemption is complete redemption began two days before and is complete now we belong to Jesus Oh, he rose from the dead. That's why he told that my beloved Mary brought the resurrection. Mary Magdalene brought the redemption truth. My loving child is here today. He's here today. How many of you are receiving here already? Mary brought the first. Lazarus' sister brought the resurrection truth. Mary Magdalene brought the redemption truth. Jesus told Mary Magdalene, Go and tell my br brother and my disciples, I am going to my father and your father. To my God and your God. Redemption is complete. You all belong to me now, Jesus says. Lift your hands and say, Jesus, Lord, I belong to you. Shout aloud and say, Lord, I belong to you. Jesus, I belong to you. My family belongs to you. I belong to you. My future belongs to you. All my life belongs to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you, beloved. The defeated devil cannot make a claim on your child's life, parents. The, defeat, def the defeated devil cannot make a claim on your life, my loving children. The defeated devil cannot make a claim on your job. The defeated devil cannot make a claim on your finances. The defeated devil cannot make a claim on your physical health. The defeated devil cannot make a claim on anything of your life. Redemption is complete. John 20 verse number 17. Oh, Mary Magdalene. He used Mary Magdalene to bring that truth. He used Mary, Lazarus' sister, to bring that truth of resurrection. He used Mary Magdalene to bring this truth of redemption. Now come with me to Luke chapter 7. Luke chapter 7. From verse number 11 onwards, Luke 7. That's, oh, my beloved. I'll quickly run through. He was coming to the gate. Of a city called Nine. They were bringing a dead man out. A mother broken, shattered. Whole life is devastated. Her, whole, her son is passed away now. Weeping, wailing, crying. She would have been. Many people were with her. She's a single mother. A widow. Single mother. A widow. So they were bringing the defeated dead body of course I call it defeated now forever near the gate Jesus is coming in into the city the Bible says Jesus is coming in and they were bringing this dead thing outside when Jesus comes in today everything dead in your life will come out everything dead in your life will come out everything dead in your life will come out my beloved my loving child, you may not be able to praise him. You may not be able to say, God, I hear pastor say rejoice, but I can't rejoice. Your joy may be dead. Your peace may be dead. Your faith may be dead. Your strength may be dead. Don't be troubled, my daughter. Don't be troubled, my son. Everything that is dead in your soul, in your spirit, in your body, in your home, everything dead will come out now. In Jesus' mighty name, he is here today, the great one. Oh, he loves you. When Jesus, that's why a thankful heart, continuous thankfulness is praises. Hebrews 13 verse 15. A continual praises is God coming in. Psalm 22 verse 3. God coming in means everything dead going out. 
See, it's all connected from the living word of God. It doesn't come from one's preparation. It doesn't come from one's mind. It doesn't come from anything. This one is the worst. And that one is the best that I see. Hallelujah. The one seated at the right hand of the Father. He loves you. 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 Richard, God is healing you right now. Jesus is here. Richie, Richie, God is healing you right now. Everywhere, your pain in your wrists, in your hand, Richie is going away now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit is here today. He loves you. 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 Oh, he loves you. Jesus, and they were at that place, at the gate. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving. I have preached the message on gate. Take my earlier cassettes or books. But tonight, the Holy Spirit only emphasizes one new aspect. New aspect at the gate. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. Psalm 100 verse 4. Which means at the gate. At the gate, the miracle happens. You know what he did at the gate? The one procession was going out, the de defeated dead procession, and life and resurrection is coming. They are meeting at the gate. When does life meet the defeated death and sorrow and disease and ailment and fear and poverty and the defeated curse or whatever? At the gate. What is at the gate, my darling? Psalm 100 verse number 4. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Is it in your Bible, my children? Is it in your Bible? If you have it in your Bible, wave your Bibles up to the glory of God. It is so, which means if you and I have a life of thanksgiving, Jesus will meet every problem at the gate itself. Hallelujah. He will meet, he will confront your problem. He will confront your disease. He will confront your sin. He will confront your curse. He will confront everything the defeated devil could have done. If your life and my life is a life of thanksgiving and a thankful heart and a praising heart all the time, Jesus will meet the defeated enemy of your life every time. Every defeated ailment in your leg, in your ankles, in your knees, in your feet will be washed away. Pastor, she had a fall today and she hurt her legs and she was unable to walk at all. But today Jesus has healed her. All the pain is gone, child. And you, you found it difficult to walk? Ah, you are the one. Ah, the, with a yes. And you had a, yes, when, when, I, when I told that, huh? you heard it, my loving daughter. Ah, now it's all healed now. You can walk with me. You can run, jump with me. All that pain is gone. Oh, hallelujah. Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands to Jesus. Come, son. Come, miracle son. miracle of healing and increase, Pastor. He came with a chest congestion, difficult to breathe, sore throat. He began to praise the Lord. He's healed. And Lord has also given him an increase in his cell. He got a 50% increase, Pastor, on his cell. My Lord. Your throat is healed, son. Your chest is healed, son. And... You feel feeling well. My Lord, bless you. Will you be my bodyguard? Uh, bless you. Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands and say thank you to Jesus. Oh, bless you, my son. Live, my child, in Jesus' name. Pastor, for one week, she was suffering with the throat pain. When she came in, she could not sing. The Lord has healed her completely. Now the throat pain is it's fine, child. You can sing now. Can you sing to me? Silent. Oh, marvelous. Then sings my soul, my Savior goes to thee. My daughter, you should join this choir. Bless you, my child. God healed. Pastor, her father was in the hospital with a deteriorating heart condition. And as you prayed for her, he, he was surgically uh, treated and he's now back at home. Completely healed. Completely healed. Your daughter, my daughter, God has made your father to live. And he will live. And he will live. And you will carry this testimony with a thankful heart to Jesus. Lift your hands and say thank you to Jesus. Your father will live, my child. Your dad will live, my daughter. You keep on thanking Jesus. Bless you.
Pastor, this is Mercy, whose name was called out tonight. She had a pain in her neck for three days and it's completely gone. Completely gone. You are Mercy. You are Mercy. And now move your leg, let me see. All the neck pain, everything has gone. Look at the joy. How many of you know mercy name was called? How many of you know that? How many of you know that? And God healed. Bless you, my daughter. You will live. Pastor, his name is Steve. Steve. He was called by the spirit of the living God. Yes. And joy and peace has come into his heart. How many of you know this handsome man's name, Steve, was called? How many of you know? And you had peace, son. Joy, my son. And your name is Steve. Lift your hands to Jesus. How many of you believe Jesus is risen from the dead? How many of you believe Jesus is risen from the dead? Live my son in Jesus' name. Pastor, this is Benedict. For three days she's been troubled and weeping. But today the Lord called her name my and has God. given her given the, the peace. God called your name and gave the peace, my child. Lift your hands and say, thank you to Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Jesus. How many of you know Jesus is alive here? How many of you know he's truly resurrected? Bless you, daughter. Live, my child. Come, sir. The short and form of his name is Steve Pastor. When oh. the name was called out, there was a peace that descended my upon Lord. him, Pastor. God called his name and gave him the peace, Steve. Oh, lift your hands, my son, and this peace will continue in Jesus' name. Live, my son, Steve. Signs, Wonders and Miracles 12th edition Ministry Magazine Documentary reports of amazing outstanding miracles and real life healing testimonies and great revival all across the globe such as a man instantly raised to life from 25 days coma a crippled young girl with crutches instantly healed and many more healing testimonies Email us on God's Love at YourMiracleLife.com Again, email us on God's love at your and get this book free. The truth of God's love and power with signs, wonders and miracles instantly happening is now released on this new book entitled Because I Live, You Shall Live Also. This book is a miracle life changing Holy Spirit inspired truth. Email us on God's love at yourmiraclelife.com Again, God's love at yourmiraclelife.com and get this book for free. Send us your prayer requests. Send it to us on our new website, yourmiraclelife.com and our new email, God's love at yourmiraclelife.com also, your testimonies of praise reports of miracles that God has done for you. Even now, send it to us. We will praise God with you at our new email, God's Love at yourmiraclelife.com. And remember, our new website, yourmiraclelife.com. God loves you. Jesus loves you.